Every day when I wake up, I look at three things on Amazon to make sure that my Amazon FBA sales are on track. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. First things first, I like to check on inventory. There's two areas of inventory I like to check. First is the stranded inventory, right? So um, this particular listing here, I've been discontinuing some secondary glasses and changing out to some tumblers like this. So I've got some inventory in Stranded. These four are on purpose, but this one right here, not so much. So I, I check my Stranded inventory to make sure nothing is unable to sell. So that's the first part. The second thing that I do is I look at my inventory FBA replenishment alert. Now you can set this up manually inside of Seller Central. You can click on the drop down and off to the race as you go. But in here, every time you get an email to say, hey, your fulfillment quantity is X, you have weeks of coverage Y. So every time I hit my six week threshold, I go ahead and create a new shipment. Here's how to set up that FBA replenishment report. Go to your inventory page, select on one of the items. You could do all of the catalog at the same time. Hit set replenishment alerts. And if you try and do too many of these, by the way, it will error out sometimes. And then you can change, how do you wanna do this? Number of units or weeks of coverage? I like weeks of coverage and I think six is the perfect number. Anytime you get six weeks, you just hit accept on it and then ship you know, another two week supply in and just keep it topped off all the time. The next thing that I like to check is listing alerts. So I use the tool Helium 10 to do this. Every time I have a listing issue, whether it's a secondary seller showing up, screw you hijackers in Canada, um, or any other type of thing where my title gets changed, my bullets are changed, my image isn't showing up right, my parentage broke, all of these things every single day I'm staying on top of because if they break, your sales could just crater really, really fast. So I use Helium 10 for my alerts. And then finally, the third and final thing I do is check my sales reports. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I also like to use Helium 10 for my daily profits report. So you can see my gross revenue, my expenses, my net profit, $1,000, 171 units. This makes it really clean and easy. It shows the breakdown of the marketplaces. So I actually had a sale in Mexico right there. You can see my top products and how much gross revenue, what my expenses are, my net profit. So I got some good things being driven by a single SKU right now. Most of my profits going in there. It can also show you where you're, you're losing money and stuff like that. Um, and, and it's really interesting to see. You can also go old school by going to the business reports section inside of Seller Central and see what your chart looks like, your sessions and your order items. You can also go backwards in time to see how you're doing uh, month to month or year over year, which is really cool. Um, checking on traffic and sales figures and which ASINs are doing well and all that good stuff. So those are all the old school ways to do it as well as the new school with Helium 10 alerts. Uh, if you wanna get 50% off Helium 10, check this out, myamazonguy.com slash H10. We'll give you 50% off with a coupon. We also walk through why we use their reports and all those cool things. And we have a bunch of videos where we drive, dive in and look at other Helium 10 aspects and pretty cool stuff. So check it out um, right here.